on up late and our third intruder will be gate crashing the house before the end of this show. I think Michael's a bit sly. His quality, so he says, is honesty and loyalty. I don't think so. What do I think about Dino? Well, um, what can I say? He's sexy and I'd like to have a chance with him. You know when the intruders come in? You know, you can't ask about the outside world. Mm. How fun it would be if you go, like, where's West Coast on the ladder? <laughs> <laughs> 5,000 or fine, yes, it's worth it. <laughs> Special. Well, tonight, the house has already been shaken as Big Brother revealed Michael as the insider. Who would have thought? I've just had an update on the house from Big Brother himself, who is telling me that Michael is inside the house, justifying his actions to an audience who just say he went round it the entirely wrong way. When I say audience, of course, I mean fellow housemates. Meanwhile, sitting outside, David, Anna, Crystal and Galen. David is in tears, as is Anna, as... And uh, I know, isn't that extraordinary? And David is saying this is why he lives on a farm far away from people. <laughs> well, that's what I figure every day before I come to work. OK. Now, I just can't believe this, because we thought the worst that would happen is that Reuben would have to be adopted by Jamie and Katie. What, what is going on here? Now, already, on the intruder front, we've met Jade, who hasn't entered the house yet, but is instead about to be hidden in the rewards room. Here you go. OK, that's an exciting start to her time in the Big Brother house. Now, that is our first intruder. Remember, none of our intruders know how many will be going into the house tonight. In fact, they all think they're the only one. And the housemates have no idea any intruders will be entering. Will the housemates be welcoming or will they be hostile? And either way, will our next intruder, Danielle, be able to cope? Sometimes when you're in a house lazy around all day, you need someone to come in and pump up the team and motivate them and just get them having fun. So I want to be that person. One of the most important things in my life would definitely be tomato sauce. And if there was no tomato sauce available to me, that is one thing I know that could change my personality from just being quite nasty and aggressive. <laughs> People that annoy me are people that are fence sitters. If you've got an opinion about something, say it. I mean, gosh, I do. I'd be very selfish. I don't really like to share, and I'm not very trusting. If I'm double-crossed, I hold a grudge. So, be warned. <laughs> not a lot makes me cry, but when I do cry, I make a count and everything comes out. If I was to pick someone as an ally in the house, I'd definitely say Anna, because she has this very strong personality that has intimidated pretty much everybody. Would you please welcome Danielle! Oh, you look beautiful! Oh, so do you! Going into the house, you've been watching the show? Yes, I have, religiously. So. All right, and you've formed opinions of people in the house? Yes, Can I run I through some? Yes. Anna, what are you thinking? I think Anna's got a lot of bite in her. She's got a lot of similarities to me, and I think we'd get along. You I think like you'll her. be friends? I reckon I could, yeah. Okay, Katie? Katie, oh, I love Katie. She's got a real Aussie chick thing about her, and it really draws me to her. I like All right, her. any girls you don't like? Um, well, I, you know, I'm the type of person that can't just judge someone by what I see. Obviously, I have to see the view from myself. Of course, there's obviously people in the house that might have personality traits that maybe not always be compat compatible with mine, but yeah, I don't know. Can't all wait right. to meet them. I'm excited. Okay, what about the boys? The boys? Oh, they're all gorgeous. 
I yes. have to say that. They're all gorgeous. All so. right. Aesthetically, they're all gorgeous. What do you think about Michael's antics over the last few weeks? Michael's done good, considering, you know, what he's been assigned to do. And I think, you know, he's kept it up really well. He's been really full on, though. Um, yeah, everyone's obviously sort of sussed it out a bit, but I think he's done a good job. Probably better than what I do, definitely. Okay, so you know the people in the house. Well, you don't know that tonight they found out that he has been the insider. Yeah. And the house Ooh. is devastated by that. And they okay. think that he did it, went round it all the wrong way. Okay. But you think he did the right way? Uh, a couple of things I wouldn't have done. I think, he, I mean, I think he did a good job of it. Like he did his tasks. He, you know, he did what he was assigned to do. But he, a little bit, he probably went a bit overboard. Yeah, more overboard than what I'd go. Well, I think the fact that his fictitious son spoke four languages yeah. was possibly a little too much. <laughs> oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I didn't think he had to lie about that. I mean, he could have found another way. He's only eight. Well. He's only eight years old <laughs> and a genius. <laughs> now tell me, any boys that you're keen on? We always want to know this. Know boys that I'm keen on. Oh, well, I had a room with Jamie. I reckon Jamie's hot. Jamie's very hot, but you know, I'm not into cutting anyone's lunch. <laughs> no. I think it's I don't actually know. cutting anyone's grass no. is the phrase. Oh, well, in South I think Australia so. it's lunch. Is it really? Because yeah. I thought that would be of assistance if someone cut your lunch, but oh, clearly no. No. Okay. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think obviously all the guys are very good looking, but personality matters a lot to me. So. Are you looking for love? Um, well, yes, if I find it. Yes, love it. always look for love. Yes, I am. I'd, I, I hope, hope you do so. find in the house. Have you got Great. a plan? Um, no, everyone's asked me, but my plan is just to, I think I've obviously got to find my competition and that sort of thing, but do you know what? I just want to have fun. I just want to be myself and just let loose. See but where it you takes want me. to win, don't you? Yeah, if there's any money left, that'd be great. A dollar forty, <laughs> hello. <laughs> all right, time for you. Now, you are not going straight into the house Ooh, okay. because of all of the uproar. Mm -hmm. You will be going into the revenge room, oh. okay? And you'll be sitting there wrapping a gift. Okay. Yes, of two bottles of delicious wine. You'll be Ooh. wrapping that and just waiting for the word to enter, okay? okay. Good luck. I Thank hope you have a fantastic Thanks, time. Guys. Off you go. Thanks. Obviously have to whisper because she's not very far away. Now, as Danielle is transported in a golf buggy down the yellow brick road to the wonderful world of Big Brother, we have one more delicious intruder to encounter after the break. Anna's feisty. She's feisty. She's a hard one to go up against. Very much a challenge. Jamie, he's definitely hot. Sometimes I think he knows that. <laughs> But I think it's gorgeous anyway, and if you're that hot, who cares? Mm, maybe they will send us a hot 16th intruder. And if he's not gay, I've got dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Mine! <laughs> Get away from him. Oh. Now, as we know, the House has been told this evening that Michael is the insider or has been the insider for the last three weeks. We thought it would just be a little reveal and they'd get on with their lives, but the House has actually fallen apart. Meanwhile, we've met two of tonight's intruders. We have one more to go. We've got one intruder in the rewards room and we're now going to watch Danielle enter the revenge room where she'll be waiting and then we're going to have a look at a bit of the action in the House. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? This is gorgeous. Oh. A little vulnerable, don't you? I just, I just, if it was me, I may have made up a story, like as we said before, that you know, drew on real things in my life. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, my mum... But it's I, easy. I've just found out that my mum's actually moving back yeah. to Australia and I've got to... I, Fair I enough. Yeah, that was one of your things and then you life. just need to be Fair with your mum because of her, her breakup. That's a true story. Rah, 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 I don't know, I just, it bothers me to be lied to, but I guess... I'm Honestly, I don't feel I think, that close to Mikey. But, but once again, like, I think, Dave, you make a good point. Like, I'm not... And going to him. dwell on the stuff that because it's it's done we know about it yeah, now but finished. you're right that the 
The shit that's going to go down now is going to be more concerning. The constant state of, like, something <laughs> could be going on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's been done, and I have... Whoa, tough time. I mean, nobody's actually thinking, what would they have done under that circumstance? Because Michael was under immense pressure.